Hi there, in this video I'm going to walk you through some of the basics of using the Word Accessibility Checker in order to fix any potential accessibility issues in any Word documents you're using, such as perhaps a syllabus. So I've opened up the sample syllabus file that we've linked to in the assignment and we'll walk through how to fix the accessibility issues here. So to start, we're going to run the Word Accessibility Checker to check our document for issues. To do that, click at the top bar of your Word uh, tool next to the light bulb and search for Accessibility Checker. If you just type in Access, it should come up and then choose Accessibility Checker. And this will run through your document and show you any issues in your document. If you get an error here that Word cannot de check the accessibility of this document, that's probably because you have an old Word document. You need to go to File, Save As, and save it in the latest Word format with the DOCX extension. And then open that new version of the document and run the accessibility checker again. So the accessibility checker breaks up uh, the things it reports into errors and then warnings and then it has tips. You mainly want to focus on the errors, of course, but I'd recommend also seeing if you can address any warnings also. So this uh, accessibility checker is saying that there's an error with this picture one. It, when I click on this picture one, it highlights this one. And if you look below, it says, why do we need to fix this issue? It's missing alternative text and how, and then it shows us how to fix it. Uh, but here, I'll show you how to fix it right here. You just right click on the picture and go to Format Picture, and that opens up another right sidebar with these different tabs at the top, and there's one that says Layout and Properties, and there's Alt Text. We need to enter alternative text to describe this image for people using screen readers. So I can say this is a Valencia College logo, and it's already saved it, and you can see even the error has gone away already in the Accessibility Checker, so I can close that Format Picture tab. Uh, there's another warning here about unclear hyperlink text. If I click on that, it jumps right to the part in the document where there's a, sort of a naked URL here. And again, a screen reader would read that out, HTTP colon slash slash. And it might be better to just use normal text that's hyperlinked. So I might say instead here, visit the Valencia College Student Services Information page online. And I'll then copy the URL and now turn this sentence into a hyperlinked text that's uh, more readable for screen readers. I'm going to select the text that I want to hyperlink. Try this again. <laughs> Here we go. And there's two different ways to hyperlink text. You can either right click and go to hyperlink or you can go up here to the insert menu and there's a hyperlink button. Oops. In my case, it's kind of compressed because I had to make the screen smaller, but there's a hyperlink option there. Then I can paste the link and say OK, and then delete the text that uh, just had a, a blank or, or an empty URL. And now it does say there's one other warning. If I click here, it says repeated blank characters, and it highlights this text right here. Blank characters or spaces or tabs or carriage returns, like when you hit the Enter key. It's your choice if you want to fix this issue. That's uh, kind of a minor issue. I guess it does have some unnecessary white space, you might say, in this case. So I'm going to just delete some of those extra empty lines. Now, here's the part where uh, I do want to mention that sometimes the accessibility checker will not catch everything. And we do want to check for some other issues to make your documents much more accessible for uh, all of your students. Uh, so another issue in this case is we want to click on all the big bold text like here or here and so on. And we want to see, is this a header or is it plain text? If I click the home menu at the top and then click on this text and I have to scroll through this list because it's uh, squeezed down, I see that this is just using a normal text style that's made with, uh, with font that is larger and bold. Instead, we want to make this use a header text style because people using screen readers, uh, headers are very helpful for them. You can quickly jump between headers to navigate through a document much, much more quickly. So I'm, I selected what should be a header and I'm going to scroll down in this, these options, and there's a Heading 1, for example, or Heading 2. Either one of those would be fine. And again, I'm going to go down to this next big header, too, and make it a heading as well. I would even make any of these bold things here as subheaders, like a Header 2 or Header 3 uh, for your whole document. 
to make it more accessible. And so a couple other issues that may or may not be caught by the word accessibility checker. Another is related to colors, text colors and color contrast. Uh, if there's bad color contrast, the accessibility checker should catch it. But also, if you ever notice in your syllabus or any Word document that you're using color to uh, make something stand out, I'd recommend not only using color to distinguish that text. So uh, this was red text that was meant to be something important for students to see. I would also make it bold. Uh, here's highlighted text. Uh, and again, make sure you're using a highlight color that doesn't make it hard to read, but I would also make this bold as well, just to make it jump out in uh, multiple ways, not by only using color. Because remember, some people may have uh, vision issues that make it more difficult to see uh, color differences. Lastly, let's look at tables. Um, Tables, uh, the main issue with those is they should have like a header row. Here's an invisible table. It's, it's hard to even tell this is a table. But if you click inside what might be a table, you can tell if it's a table by, uh, by the fact that when I click on it, this little item here at the top that says Table Tools appears. So that lets me know I'm in a table now. And uh, you want to right click on the first row of the table and go to Table Properties. This pops up a little dialog where you want to look at this row tab and make sure you check that the first row is set as a header. So check this option that says repeat as header row. And there is a tab for alt text if you wish you can describe the table, but that's not really as important as, as using uh, making sure that there's a header row set. Hit OK. And again, the reason we do that is for screen readers, so it knows uh, where should it start, by the first row or the first column. Uh, there's another table in the sample syllabus, too. That, again, I want to right-click on the first row, right-click, go to Table Properties, then Row, and set Repeat as Header Row. Okay, and you may see some other issues as well, but look at the tutorials that we link to in the assignment and also look at the guidance on the bottom right in the Accessibility Checker. So,